Hello again, I'm excited and I'm dad. I'm dad and I'm excited. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about the future of cameras for streaming. And uh, well, a big leap has just been made thanks to Canon. Again, I'm dad and hopefully I don't waste your time. There's not a lot of reasons that I never moved to a DSLR for my stream and that's the price. Because when you break it down, you're looking at spending at least on a used DSLR $230 and then you need the cam link. On top of the cam link, you need the dummy battery. Compare that to the camera that I'm using right here that you're looking at at $37. Now you can see why I never went to DSLR because I'm not a big streamer and I'm definitely not a big YouTuber. Now let's move forward and talk about what I see the future of cameras for streaming. From every webcam that's out there, from every DSLR, everything that's out there, the biggest thing I have to say to every manufacturer out there is stop putting microphones on our cameras. Even the latest by Logitech still had microphones on them. None of us use it. Please stop. Lower the price. I don't, I don't care if it's just a few dollars. Get rid of the mics. We don't need them. As far as DSLRs go, we're, we're waiting. All of us, all the streamers, we're all waiting. And at this point, it seems to be a race between Canon and Sony. We're waiting for someone to come out with a camera that allows us to not have to buy a dummy battery, that allows us to stream high quality, exactly what we're looking for, without all the crazy features that are needed for photographers. Make it simple, keep it basic, just give us what we need to set up a camera and leave it there. We're not going to be messing around with it. We're going to pick our settings just how we want them. And then the camera is going to sit right there. Finally, I don't know why this wasn't done sooner, but why do we need a cam link? Why do we need to buy another piece of software so that our camera can work on the stream? Why can't we just plug it directly into the computer? Well, that's why I'm excited because Canon finally took that step and gave us all something absolutely beautiful and free. There's plenty of videos out there to show you how to set it up, how to go through it with the software, the hardware, everything you need to know. There's already videos out there that exist. I will link to them below, both the link for the software and also a video from Canon to show you how to set it up. Now, once these manufacturers get rid of all the, well, now once all these manufacturers, no. Now, once Sony or Canon decides to get rid of all these extra features for <laughs> all these extra features for photographers and give us just what we need and get rid of any microphone that's on there and get rid of now once Sony or Canon decides to no once Sony or who I'm thinking about something else while I'm talking forget all of that previously. I was lucky enough to have a camera sitting around that is compatible with the new software. So I went ahead and set it up. So I'm going to show it to you here. And here it is. This is actually the Canon EOS Rebel SL2. Going back to what I was talking about earlier, you can see there isn't a huge difference for the massive difference in price, which is why I never went with a DSLR. With the right settings, either in the camera or in Streamlabs OBS, you can make your basic webcam look really nice. I did a video of that and I will link to that down below. When you look at the camera side by side here, you can see there are minor differences. Where the big differences are is one, when there's motion. As you can see, the webcam does not handle it very well, but the DSLR does. Uh, no, I'm not John Cena. Out of all of the differences, the absolute largest one, which blows my mind every time I look at this, is zoom and focus, but zoom primarily. Yeah, holy cow. I mean, this is amazing. The, the difference is night and day. Now you can see where the DSLR really shines and those minor details up close and personal. And by the way, hey, how are you? I'm dead. Two other features I would love to see from this new camera that I'm hoping maybe end of the year, maybe early next year, fingers crossed, 
One would be Zoom From Software. By software, what I mean is maybe a Stream Deck or Touch Portal, and it would zoom the actual hardware. So not a digital zoom, a physical zoom. After that, once you get rid of the battery, you get rid of all the other features that really aren't needed for us streamers, I'm going to assume it's already going to be smaller and lighter, and that's something we really need. We don't absolutely need it to be mounted to the top of our monitors, but for some, that may be really helpful. In the end, I'm not ready for a DSLR, but I'm really excited about the race between Sony and Canon to give us the absolute stream DSLR. It's going to happen, it's only a matter of time, and I really hope they're listening because when Logitech came out with their most recent one, I don't think they were listening to any of us. With the Logitech Brio capping out at almost $200, I'd really love to see this future DSLR come in around $250, plug and play. You plug it in, you go into OBS, you hit that source button, and bam, it's sitting there ready for you. I hope you're as excited as I am. Thanks for watching. I'm Dad, and hopefully I didn't waste your time. If you only got a mustache. Hope the audio was good this time. It's gonna be embarrassing if I can't get it right.